this is Heather Hooker from the Fit Mom Tribe, and today I'm going to share five things, five tips that are going to help you transition into the ketogenic, high-fat, low-carb lifestyle, especially if you're coming from Portion Fix, which is something that I did for years, um, or if you're coming from more of a like clean eating sort of lifestyle. These tips are what helped me make the transition um, and wrap my brain around this ketogenic style of eating. So stay tuned. All right, so let's chat about how to retrain your brain to this ketogenic lifestyle. The first thing that you're going to want to do is replace the carbs that you like with either vegetable versions, which stay with me because this sounds worse than it is. You're going to want to switch to veggie versions or you're going to want to find low carb versions of your favorite things. So, um, for instance, if you like to eat wraps for lunch, one thing that you can do is you can take um, lettuce wraps. If you've ever been to P.F. Chang's and had lettuce wraps that they serve as an appetizer, they're delicious. But what you can do is you can just slice this in half. You get a little lettuce cup and you put whatever you want in there. Chicken salad, turkey and cheese, like whatever kind of wrap that you like, roll it up. You can also use butter lettuce leaves. No, wait. What's it called? Romaine. The really long skinny ones. That makes good ones for like tacos. Um, lettuce wraps are a really good bread alternative. You can also so swap cauliflower rice for rice. You can make spaghetti zucchini noodles for regular noodles or spaghetti squash for spaghetti noodles. So there's all kinds of veggie versions of what you would normally eat that you can make. The other thing that you can do, and this is, this really depends on your what your personal definition of keto is. There's a lot of different theories and philosophies. Uh, my personal is I just try to keep my carbs super low um, and I try to make sure that my macros are the ketogenic macros. Now, do I eat these every single day? No, but you know, every once in a while, if I want to make a little mini pizza or, you know, whatever, you can find low carb versions of your favorite things as well that will fit into your new keto macros if you choose to. Please do not comment below and tell me that these are not keto. If they don't fit your version of keto, just don't eat them, okay? Um, so that's number one is to find low carb versions of your favorite carby treats. Now on Amazon, you can order low carb brownie mix that is delicious. You can make low carb pancakes. You can just, you know, there's all kinds of recipes out there for all of your favorite treats, okay? So don't feel like you have to give everything up. You do not. You can still have pizza crust. There's a keto pizza crust that is called Fathead. Um, I posted a skillet pizza that doesn't look that great, but honestly, it is super good. So um, you can you can still have your favorite foods, just keto versions. All right, so number two is to get a couple of really good cookbooks. And I'm going to share a couple that I have. I've tried a bunch. I've bought a ton of keto books um, that I have read and continue to read and learn about this lifestyle. Um, I love to try new recipes. I very rarely make the same thing twice, but this one is my, has been my favorite one so far, The Ultimate Ketogenic Cookbook by Ella Sanders. Almost everything that I've made out of this book has been really good, um, and I like that it has big pictures. So like there's a chicken squash Alfredo that I have bookmarked. Um, let's see what else. Oh yeah cauliflower mac and cheese. Um, so this one is probably my favorite to date. And like I said, I bought a ton. The other one that I just bought that looks really good um, is this one. It's called bacon and butter. So many good recipes in here that I have bookmarked. Um, let's see. What's one that I have? Cinnamon muffins with cream cheese frosting. Oh my God. Like my mouth is watering. Um, so this one looks pretty good too. But if you go into your local bookstore, you will see there's a whole section of keto. I mean, this this lifestyle, this people are learning that 
You don't have to be afraid of fat. So there's a huge section in your bookstore. Go look. Go see what appeals to your taste. Get a couple or get one good one and start trying some new things. That will help you stick to this diet because, you know, if you feel like there's nothing that you can eat, number one, you're wrong. <laughs> and number two, like, you just got to try some new stuff. You'll find some new recipes that will be your new favorite recipes, I promise you. All right, so number three is to keep a food log. So you really need to download an app. You need to be tracking what you're eating. Carbs are super sneaky. They will sneak in even if you think you're eating low carb. If you're not tracking, you're probably not eating low carb. So the one that I really like is Carb Manager. I did a video about how to set that up, um, but you can use any app that you want to app, but I do definitely recommend that you track. You don't want to go over your daily caloric goal. Just if you're if you're switching, if your goal is weight loss, you still can't eat 3,000 calories. You still have to hit a calorie goal every day to reach weight loss results. The benefit of doing keto is that you're not going to be hungry. Your, your energy is going to be through the roof. You're going to lose all these cravings that you have if you eat you know, other, other lifestyles. If you choose another diet to do, um, it just doesn't have the benefits of this as well as you know, all the research that's coming out that's showing just how bad sugar is for anti-aging and cancer and all these things that you want to avoid. So um, definitely want to be tracking what you're eating. Number four, you have to add in more fat. <laughs> so um, one mistake that I have seen is that people want to cut out carbs, but they're, they're still afraid to add the fat in and your body just can't run if you're not giving it fuel. So if you are not giving it glucose, you're not giving it fat, you're going to feel tired, you're going to get headaches, you're going to feel run down, you are not going to feel good. Um, so you have, to give your, you have to give your body fat to run on. Add in um, coconut oil, avocado, nuts, butter, cheese, full fat dressing, what else? Um, MCT oil is great. You know, you can add those things into your meal if you don't want to sit down to a lunch or a dinner of some dried up crusty chicken breast and some plain steamed vegetables with a sprinkle of Mrs. Dash on it. I ate that. I ate that way for years. Um, that's the opposite of what you want to do with the keto diet. So add some herbed butter to your vegetables. Um, drizzle some olive oil on top of your chicken or even better yet, instead of eating boneless, skinless chicken breast, switch to a fattier cut of meat. You can eat chicken thighs, chicken wings. Um, beef is great. So um, add in that fat. Number five is to take a few good supplements. And I'm gonna show you which ones I take. So I take this multivitamin. I don't think it matters which one you take, but you definitely need a multivitamin because you want your body to be getting the vitamins and minerals that it needs. A lot of times cravings are just an indication that your body is lacking in certain nutrients. And even if you're trying your best to eat a healthy diet, you're, you're still not probably going to get everything that's in one of these vitamins. So one, one multivitamin a day. I also recommend that you take a magnesium supplement. Um, like, again, it doesn't really matter which one. I'm not a professional magnesium pill um, tester. But I just picked one up at my local drugstore. I take one. In general, there's more research coming out that most of the population is deficient in magnesium. So this is good for keto, it's good for anybody in general. And then the last one that I take is um, these little electrolyte supplements. And there's two little tablets in this packet. I take this every day and it helps, it just makes me feel better. Um, I definitely recommend that you take electrolytes on the ketogenic diet because it is um, flushing you out, you know, it's cleaning you out, it's dehydrating. Um, and this helps replace some of that. So. That's it. That's my five tips to help you make this transition. I know that it is tricky at first. The first time I tried to transition, I failed. I didn't know what to eat. I didn't know what to, you know, what I should be doing. Um, so I took a step back. I researched a little bit more. I knew at the end of the day that this was going to, 
I was going to make this work for me because I saw the benefits. Um, I knew that I personally needed a change and I knew that what was working, what I was doing wasn't working for me. So I took a step back. I researched a little bit more, came back with my game face on and I've loved it. So it's okay if you don't know exactly what you're doing at first. Keep trying, keep tweaking things, keep trying new recipes. Um, it's so, so worth it when you get this right and then it becomes a lot easier. The longer you do it, the easier it becomes. So um, I hope this helps.